I'm Lisa Chankovich, the producer of WCBS 880 Author Talks. We're here at the Book Expo at the Javits Center, and standing next to me is the one and only James Patterson. Thank you for joining me. Hi there, yeah. With books, I'm, I'm here. I'm, <laughs> I'm here with you. Well, we're glad that you're here with me. Thank you. So you're one of the busiest men in publishing. You have a lot going on. Tell us about your newest release, though, Crazy House. Uh, Crazy House is, is a YA young adult. Um, I did a series called Maximum Ride, which is one of the biggest series I've ever done. And then I, I really I didn't have a great idea for a while for a, a young adult series. And then Crazy House came along, and I just love this idea. It's two twins. Twins are always twos. Twins, we should say. And um, um, they grow up. It's, it's, it's kind of dystopian society. And the, and the one girl, um, she, she has a bag over her head. She goes into this... And she's in prison. She's never been tried. She's never done anything that she's aware of to you know, be guilty of. But she's in prison, and they put her on death row. And it's like, huh? You know? And the other twin, of course, wants to find her. And like I said, you have a diz- dizzying array of releases coming out. How do you do it? Uh, I, I don't think about it. I love. Um, somebody said you're lucky if you find something you like to do, <clears throat> and then it's a miracle of somebody will pay you to do it. <clears throat> I'm sure that you know people watching, listening, whatever, uh, know what I mean by that. So you know, I was just fortunate enough. You know, I, I in my late teens, early twenties, I started writing, loved it, and eventually um, I got to the point where I could. You know, my first book I actually published when I was 25. It got turned down by 31 publishers. It then won an Edgar as the best first mystery in the country. So it's like, huh? Did you keep those letters? Um, I yeah, and occasionally those those editors will send me bl- uh, things, to, books to, to blurb, and I'm like, I remember you. You turned down my book back in. You know. <laughs> so, in ad- addition to all the writing, you're also teaching a master class now. How did that come about? Uh, I was approached by a group a couple of years ago to do a two or three day. Uh, they they uh, they filmed me just like this, and. Um, um, I said, sure, I'll, I'll, I'll do that. And it, it really was, it got huge. I mean, more people have taken my class and our students at Harvard and Yale put together. So uh, and it's good. I mean, and, and the, the, um, uh, the response is real. I mean, the, the approval rating is like astronomical. So it really turned out great. And, you know, Kevin Spacey did one and Serena Williams did one. Dustin Hoffman did one. So it's all, you know, really, it's a nice company that I'm keeping in the master class. It's like you have to go online, master class. And one of the cool things you're doing with it is hosting this co-author competition. Yeah, this is the second year. We did one last year, co-author, uh, and a woman from Pennsylvania. It was either with thousands of entries. And then I worked with her, and we published, uh, we're going to publish, actually, one of her books is coming out in the summer. Um, and then we just, yesterday, I just talked to the, winner of this and I told him that he was the winner and it turns out he's an NCIS agent which is kind of cool working in Japan um, and happened to be in Washington when I caught him yesterday on some top secret thing Uh, so that was that was neat and speaking of co-authors I know that later this year you're teaming up with former President Bill Clinton well I'm already teamed up with him yeah Uh, President Clinton and I are doing a novel called um, The President is Missing uh, it's a thriller. He likes suspense. And what really separates the book is it's a really good story about a president who goes missing. But he has so much insider information. So it's, it's not like any other thriller I think anybody will have, will have read. You can't get a better source than a former president. No. You know, he's great to work with. He, he, he reads a lot. He's a good storyteller on his own. So he's been helpful in terms of the story, uh, and and obviously the insider stuff is invaluable. I can't wait to read that one. Yeah, no, no, it's very, it's very cool. And as a CBS We're station, through. oh, great! Yeah, it's a fall release, right? No, it's going to be uh, next summer. Next summer. Yeah. So as a CBS station, I'd be re- remiss not to mention Zoo is coming back for another season. Zoo is back at the end of June, and we actually have sold another series to CBS called Instinct, with Alan Cumming. And that will be next January. Great. So we'll have two series on CBS, which is great. Yeah. And are you very and involved? I will tell you, CBS is the best in terms of, of working with people on television. 
Their notes are really terrific. They're really smart. So it's a pleasure. Mm -hmm. um, and you're very, are you very involved with what happens with the script? Yeah. Yeah, I, I get all the scripts. I get all of the, uh, the dailies in terms of the filming. And, you know, in the group, is, it's, it's a good group. The showrunner, we, you know, we've gotten friendly showrunners. Um, so, yeah, I, and I think actually the third season is going to be the best. It's, uh, it just keeps getting, a lot of times with, with series, they start fading a little bit. This is actually getting stronger and stronger and stronger. So I'm very excited about the third season of Zoo. Great. And one more thing that you're doing is if you weren't already doing enough, I noticed you write movie reviews on your website. Yeah, yeah, we'll do the I'm I'm a movieaholic. I, you know, when I first um, started writing, you know, and, and doing nothing else, just to break the, the the stream of thoughts, I would go to the movies about four afternoons a week, come two o'clock or three o'clock, I go, okay, I, I have to stop thinking about this novel, and I would just go to the movies. So I became this movieaholic, uh, so I see everything, and, uh, and, I, and I'll write, a, you know, a paragraph or so about whatever I think about various movies. This is not a good movie, period, obviously. Uh, I just saw Pirates, and I despised it. Uh, the original I thought was quite funny and terrific, and this is just like... Who, uh, who, one, who's watching this? And two, I mean, I don't know, it was just not good, <laughs> not good. So, and I, and I, like, I like popcorn movies. Right. Yeah. So finally, and this question may be a tough one, I don't know, it might be like asking you to choose your favorite child, mm -hmm. but out of all the audiences that you write for, do you have a favorite? Well, I, I uh, you know, I'm, I'm very partial to writing for children because it's so important to get them reading. Mm -hmm. uh, and I know that, if you if you get kids enough books that they like, I have an imprint at Little Brown Jimmy, and our uh, mission is when a kid finishes a Jimmy book, they'll say, "Please give me another book," as opposed to, "I hate reading." Mm -hmm. And 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 if if kids get enough books in their hands where they go, "I like that," then you'll you kids will read. And you've got a fan for life. You hope. Yeah, I don't care about that as much as honestly, I just want to get them reading because. If, if at-risk kids, if they don't become competent readers in middle school, how are they going to get through high school? You know, it really is, it's a matter of life and death with kids, for a lot of kids. I mean, you really have to get them reading. And, it's, and, and parents, insofar as they can, have to take responsibility. You know, parents, they, they're not bashful about, you know, you have to eat with the family or don't track mud on the living room rug or here's how you throw a baseball. Same, same. They, they have to get the kids reading. And if they, if they don't, they're really, they're putting the kids behind the eight ball. Well, James Patterson, thank you so much for taking the time today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good, good, good. Go CBS. <laughs>